Why anybody would strap a rooster to the roof of their house is beyond me. Maybe it's some kind of early warning system. Who knows? Anyway, that rooster's been going at it since about 4 o'clock this morning. And it's time for a hot cup of coffee and some internet. If I have internet. Not such a good signal this morning. Probably because of some high winds. But it comes and goes. Mostly goes. So when you have no internet, one option is to head to the beach. I'm taking the dog going to the beach. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to overdub this because the wind noise is just too high today. And uh, little puppy dog, she is not cooperating real good because she just does not know how to walk on a leash yet. But I want to get down here to the seawall and see what kind of uh, wave action we got with these winds. Super Typhoon Maranti, which is impacting southern Taiwan as we speak, has really enhanced our southwest flow, and I just want to check it out with or without puppy dog. Well, I took puppy dog home. I just couldn't handle her leash and the camera all at the same time. So I'm going to walk down here and check it out for myself. It's pretty windy, so I'm, I'm like I said, I'm overdubbing all this. And I just gave you a sample of the wind noise here, but I'm going to try to mute uh, or put a windsock over this microphone so you can hear the waves. And then I'll go back to muting again. I don't know about you, but wind noise on a microphone drives me crazy, so uh, I'm going to have to buy a microphone somewhere for this camera and, and uh, put a windsock on a mic or something, but it's hard to do voice in the wind. Uh, so anyway, with this uh, Super Typhoon Maranti just to our north, you can see the, the wind coming off from the southwest. The boat harbor uh, that they have built here in Tomalegas, they built a big long seawall here to protect the boats from the rough water. And it can get pretty rough out there. If you all don't know any better, there's two reasons why uh, they put streets in our barangay. One is for drying rice, and the other is for stringing fish nets so you can work on them. Some of these nets are quite lengthy. Um, my brother-in-law, who's a fisherman, told me it's not uncommon to to have a thousand meters of net in his boat and uh, they require a lot of repairs um, and pretty frequently my brother-in-law is always working on his net when he's not doing construction anyway here I kinda just mentioned big job huh and he agreed and kept on stitching this is their livelihood and uh, some of these guys will work on these nets hours on end. Meanwhile at the house I think there's some puppy training going on and I'm going to check it out. I'm going to grab my coffee and take a walk. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Find you guys. No, she's not in training. Training's over. Training's over. I guess I won't take a walk. Well, my brother-in-law just came to me. His tape measure is on the on the blitz. It won't work. So he asked me uh, to call his wife to have her go to town to get a tape measure. I says, no problem. I have one you can use. Mufkin, 25 foot Mufkin. He says, no Koya, it's no good. I says, what do you mean it's no good? He goes, no millimeters. <laughs> and with that, I think I'll leave the rest of our day to your imagination. And the rooster next door, he's still tethered to the rooftop. And the sun's going down. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the sunset.
somewhere. One day at a time. <laughs>